I'm Steve Mould. I'm Matt Parker. Welcome to mathsgear.co.uk. We sell nerdy maths things. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, and today we've got some dice. Uh, and these are not your regular everyday dice. If you have a close look at these, they have some unusual numbers. Uh, so the red, what's going? It's got a lot of fours and, and a bit of a nine. And what's going on? There's there. a lot of uh, fives on the on the green, and there's a zero I on do, there. I do like zeros, and there's twos and sevens and the like. And uh, you can play a game with these. So uh, let's start just with three of them. So I'll take out these two. Uh, Steve, if you want to pick one of these, yeah. I'll pick one, and we'll see who can roll the highest number. Well, well I'm going to pick the red because I don't know. It looks pretty good. Isn't it? It's, it's, it's got a nine. nine. That's pretty good. Well, it turns out if you, if you look at the maths, the green one will, on average, roll a higher number than the red one because it's got all these fives yeah. going on. So you know that. So you picked yeah, the green yeah, one. Yeah, so I, I picked the green one. And you beat me. Yeah. Um, however. You, you didn't pick the, the worst one because uh, even though the green one will beat the red one, the red one will beat the blue one. Right. So so. It, so next time I next time I play, you ask me again yeah. to pick one. I'm going to pick the green one. Yeah, because that's the red one. The red one yeah. is the blue one. The trouble is these are non-transitive dice, and so uh, the blue one will actually, on average, beat the green one. What? Yeah. There's no there's no best dice. They they go around. Yeah, in a spiral, and actually, it gets it gets far more complicated once you bring in two more. Uh, so, it, instead of us trying to explain how grime dice work, uh, we've brought in the man who puts the word grime into grime dice. It's uh, Dr. James Grime. Okay, okay. Shuffle up. Come on, come on. We're in. We're in. We're in. Okay. 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 Hello, James. Okay. Hi. <laughs> that was smooth, wasn't it? So, these are my uh, set of five non transitive dice. Uh, so like you said, uh, uh, red uh, will beat blue, yep. blue will beat olive, that's olive, olive, olive sorry, that's very green. important, this is olive, uh, olive will beat uh, yellow, yellow will beat magenta, and magenta will wrap back and beat red again. Mm. Now, how are we going to remember that order for those five dice? We've done this on purpose so that uh, they are in order of word length. So the names, or the names of the colours are in word length. Mm -hmm. uh, red has three letters, yep. blue has four, uh, olive five, yellow six, and magenta is the only colour with seven letters. There you go, fact fans. So that's, that's, and that wraps back. That's not the red. worst though, so that then beats red. Absolutely. Okay, so you can use these to win money off your friends and family. Basically. Exactly. It's a game you can play down the pub, uh, challenge them to pick a die, you can pick a die, but you'll always be able to pick one that can beat theirs on average uh, with a better chance. So hold on, if, uh, but eventually they'll learn this right and they'll think, well, hold on a second, maybe I want you to pick the dice first, because I've worked out which one is going to be the thing. thing yeah. right? uh, sounds bad, but if you do that, you'll say, OK, all right. Um, well, we, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll pick first, but um, let's play with two sets okay. of non transitive dice. So now we're going to double up, and you'll roll both and you'll use the total. Now you'll think that if you're using two die, uh, you're giving them an even better chance, yeah, twice yeah, as likely to win, surely. But here's the clever bit rather remarkably, if you double the number of die, your circle of victory now becomes a circle of defeat. <sighs> These, mm. the order, the winning order reverses order. This flips, so now you can win again. Nice, nice. Uh, but they will probably... It just does my head in. That's... Yeah, but no, but, yeah, but you're right. No, they're they're, they're going to work that out, right? After, they, uh, after you've won a few drinks, they go, wait a minute, and then mm. they, they do the maths, because frankly, they will. Uh, and they work out that doubling the dice reverses the order of victory. Exactly. Well, then you have your secret, your, your little secret, there is a second chain here, a second winning chain. Oh, and that works... Two chains for the price of one. Two <laughs> chains with this dice. Uh, this works in alphabetical order. Mm. So we had an order which was using word length. In uh, alphabetical order, we're going to have blue beats uh, magenta. Magenta beats olive, that's olive. Olive, that's olive. 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 Yeah. olive uh, beats red. Red beats yellow, and then yellow back to blue. Hey, that's like a, a, a like a pentagram instead of a in, instead of a circle. That explains exactly. a lot, actually. Ah, exactly. So you've got the second chain, which you can then use again to be. But that, does that flip as well when you? That one. That's a very special chain because that doesn't flip. That remains the same. So you double the dice. That's the same to single or double dice. Which allows you to play a rather remarkable two-player game. You can play two players at the same time and have a better than 50% chance of beating each player. So I choose a colour, Matt choose a colour. And I can play you simultaneously. And you beat both of us more and than I can, half I can beat each player 
with a greater than 50% probability. If I'm allowed to pick my own rules, a one die or two dice version of the game. So don't volunteer your rules before you start playing. Yes, yeah. Now all we have all these diagrams and, and, and probably even the probabilities and whatnot on the website, so you can have a look at all of those. And you get it in a little pack when you buy it. And as they well. come in a wonderful pack. And um, they, they did not. They didn't used to be a thing, which is what's amazing. So hmm. this. So the the first three that we started off with, there have been uh, sets. There they have been sets like this before, uh, and you'll get that for free. That will come. For free, if you buy the set of five non-transitive dice. And so now you and these you, do the reverse thing as well, don't they? When you double up, they reverse. Yeah, so that uh, set will do the reverse trick mm. as well. Now, uh, when I first saw these non-transitive dice, James had designed them and pretty much just drawn dots onto bits mm. of foam because uh, mm. he he worked out the maths, but they were, they didn't exist in reality. Uh, so we decided to make them exist in reality. I'm so excited. This has come from out of my brain <laughs> and in, 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 into, into my Only hands. Only a few things should go through that transition. <laughs> these are definitely and one. into my car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And you can get these on uh, masculo.co.uk. These are the only place uh, that, that these can be bought. Uh, the set of three you can buy as well uh, if you want, and that is the cheapest place to buy them, uh, is on masculo.co.uk. Don't cut it, UK. Um, and that is it. James Grime, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.